I came up through the hip hop scene, the local hip hop scene in Detroit. You know, everything back then was just about battling. I mean, if you wanted to make a name for yourself, the battle scene was also, it was, it was so huge. I mean, it was battles every couple months where, you know, anybody who was anybody was trying to make a name for themselves would come out. I think one of my greatest inspirations or, or, or things that I would feed off of basically was just obviously people not believing in the, you know, the cloud of doubt that kind of, I felt hung over my head and wanted to just prove everybody wrong. You know what I mean? I wanted to make it and I was gonna make it regardless of what anybody said. I'm looking for somebody, you know, one, to, to stand out, you know, to, to be unique. And also, you know, say, say the sickest, most ridiculous, retarded shit you can say that you can think of that makes somebody want to quit. MCs have competitive spirits. That's why we're in it. That's why we do what we do. How would you approach this battle if you were in it? I would have written lines. I would have punch lines, you know, that I'd be prepared to, to say at any time. And I would kind of figure out kind of on the spot, like what punchlines I would pick and choose for this person that was in my face, but also be able to mix freestyle in with it. That would be the basic formula I would follow, is have my punchlines ready to go, you know, but also be able to, to say something spontaneous too. I don't know who the greatest freestyle in America is today, but I, I know that the greatest freestyle that I've ever seen in my life is proof. He might use one line in a, in a 60 second battle that was something that he had premeditated, but everything else would be spontaneous. Now, I've never seen anybody be able to have that kind of a natural gift and ability to, to, um, to do that, you know? And I'm not just saying that because he was my homie, I'm saying that because I've never seen anybody be so gifted like that. I think the finals coming to Detroit is great because for one, it gives the city something, but, but also at the same time, uh, you know, the Eight Mile movie was, was, was big for, to, to let people know what was going on on the scene, you know, here at that time and, and even still today. Well, I'm obviously, I mean, I'm interested in the, in the battle because I love to watch battles. I'm, I love to be a spectator, so, you know, it's a perfect marriage. The MC in me wants to see, like, who's going to be the sickest individual of them all in this thing. And, you know, I, I want to see it. I want to be there.